Can you guys see him? You see the dude in the coconut tree? Coconut tree trimming. Straight to clutch replacement trimming. What's happening ladies and gentlemen? Thought you guys might like to hang around with me as I change the clutch in this 2008 WR250-290 now. Athena R. Alright, so this bike's got about 20,000 miles on it, a little over 20,000 miles. And after my little crankcase thing, if you guys haven't seen it, it's a previous video, I was like, that's a great opportunity to change the clutch. Maybe I can take a peek in there one last time to see if there's any metal at all in the engine. But uh, before we start, let's go over a couple of things you need to have prepped here. Just drain the oil into that. That's my vat of oiliness. Um, one of the most important things is to have your clutch discs, not the plates, just the discs soaking in the same type of oil you'll be refilling the motor with. In this case I got some Motul 1550 four stroke oil, semi-synthetic. Um, you'll need a torque wrench that can go down to zero pounds. A lot of them start out at 10 and for the clutch plate in, in under the cover um, the spec is 7.5 foot-pounds or 10 newton meters if you guys are in the UK um, and most most of the um, torque wrenches don't go that low so you'll have to get one of these they're like 20 bucks you can get them at Sears they have a lifetime warranty just a great tool to have either way um, some thread locker to put the clutch cover bolts back in afterwards I like to use thread locker on most of these bolts that you access once in a blue moon um, 8 millimeter to take off the clutch cover, a little crescent wrench, um, not crescent wrench, socket wrench. Uh, this is for the oil, 14 and a little 10. And let's get to it. So after we, we uh, remove the oil, we got to take this little protective cover off. And as you can see, the brake pedal is in the way. There's no way to get to this bolt right back there. See that? And a lot of people will say just take the brake lever off and all that, but I don't know. Look, you got all this stuff in there. It's just that's just boring. And I just want to get to that bolt so it can back out and it doesn't hit it. So what you can do here is I've already bent it out, but you've got a cotter pin. This camera doesn't want to focus on things that matter. Cotter pin, put that down, pop the back of the uh or pop the little lever out. You're gonna have a little washer there. I like to keep everything organized, put the washer back in, stick the cotter pin in there just so things stay organized and you're not searching all over your garage for your cotter pin later in life. So now you can pull this little this little brake cleavis thing and then boom there you go you have the clearance you need to get to that eight millimeter. Just saves a lot of time you know look at all that stuff connected to the brake pedal it's like ugh, who wants to take that off? All right, so now that you got the little protective clutch cover off here, I like to keep everything organized. So the bolts I'm using, I'll usually try to get them back in the same hole there. Bing, bing. And like I said, you got that long one there. So I'll just put that to the side, let that chill out there. And that's it. Clutch cover comes off. Right here, these five bolts. One, two, three, four, five. I like to put them back in the same hole. Oh, no, six bolts. We got that one down there. And I'm going to take them off and take these clutch cover bolts off in a crisscross pattern just to relieve the pressure as equally as possible. So I'm just going to tap, 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 and then go down here, da, 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 and then we'll come back. This is hard to do with one hand um, <laughs> without having the camera mounted to my face, but I want to use this camera because the quality is much better. So I hope you guys don't mind the cuts in between the action, but da, 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 taking the bolts off. All right. Crankcase knife. And I was mistaken, there are two short ones. Um, so I just, this is the way I like to arrange them. I'll, I'll usually typically start with the hardest bolt to get out and that'll just be like my left bolt and then I'll go clockwise and put all, put all the bolts back in in that way. So this is the bolt right here that was behind the brake down there, toughest to get to. The next one, so on and so forth. And then this one gets skipped right here. This is the long bolt, uh, this guy right here. So, cool, moving on. Um, if your clutch cover is hard to get off, 
Well, it's sometimes it's gonna kind of be sealed on there, and you're gonna feel like it's not wanting to come off, and you just wanna get a little tapper, a little circular tapper, and it's usually gonna be just enough there. You got you got that hollow sound. There we go. Bada boom, bada bing. Hold on a second here. I gotta put the camera down for a sec. Okay. Do a little gasket inspection on the clutch cover. Looking good, looking good. I actually should have bought another gasket. Sometimes you'll pull the gasket off and it'll rip and tear, but I was like, ah, eh, the bike's only got, bike's only got 20,000 miles on it. It should be fine. And there's the old, the old clutch assembly. We'll see what those look like when we get in there. But so now I'm just going to take off these tens. Du -du 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 -du, same thing. These are the bolts that need to come back at 7.5 foot pounds. So I'm just going to do one, two, three, four, five. Take them off that way. So I was a little surprised to see that these don't have much pressure on them at all, which is um, really why it's so important to get them back to 7.5. I would imagine that tightening to 7.5 is like, what? How do I do that? So these are just holding the springs down and here's just to give you an example of where I'm holding the wrench and this last bolt hasn't been untorqued yet. You know, we got a boom right there and it just broke free. So not much pressure on those things at all. Okay, I'm going to continue removing these. Okay, so we got uh, the pressure plate here. All the bolts are off, all the springs are off. You don't need to take that bolt off. Um, this is kind of like the casing where it can be, it can feel like it's stuck on there and you might be thinking, oh, I gotta take that off. You don't have to. Um, you can kind of just fudge at it here. Let's get that off before we take any of the plates. So there we go. Pressure plate. See that thing? It's just a little slider in there. I don't know what that's called. I'm sure somebody will tell me in the comments below. Um, I probably won't be able to film this. Well, I'll film a little bit of it. So it's just, it's just one after the other. There's no particular, um, <clears throat> there's no particular arrangement here. This just once the teeth fit in, it's, I mean once the uh, those little fingers on the disc fit in, it's it's good to go. Um, you want to end with your clutch disc here as your last your last contact that's on the back of the pressure plate. Um, and then one thing with these discs is okay. If you guys have a WR, you'll feel one edge is sharp. You'll, this is a distinct thing you can notice and the other edge is round it's not wanting to focus on that but hold on let's come on camera come on you can do it focus okay anyways this outer edge is sharp the inner edge is round you want all the sharp edges facing out that's supposedly pretty important for the clutch to operate properly so I'm just gonna take all these out slide them all out and slide the new ones back in actually let's just do it right now okay that goes out and Looking at these clutch discs, they're in pretty damn good condition. 20,000 miles and they look fantastic. Alright, so I got all my discs and plates out and just did a little inspection in there with a flashlight. There's nothing. As many of you know, I punched a hole in the crankcase the other day. Tiny little hole. Tiny, tiny little hole. But uh, I was worried about potentially having metal in the, in the casing. And I don't know. It's just all it's all good. Let's just say that it is all good. All right, so we're gonna begin putting these back on. I just put it uh, on the WR. It starts with the clutch disc, and then you're on a pressure plate, clutch disc, pressure plate, clutch disc, pressure plate, one after the other. So we're just putting them back in, starting with the the disc, going to the pressure plate, to the disc to the pressure plate, feel this thing, there's my sharp edge, so I gotta flip it over. Sharp edge facing out, pressure plate, disc, okay, put that in, pressure plate, sharp edge out, so on and so forth. Let's, uh, let's do a little speeding up of this right here. Okay, now that you got all your discs and pressure plates back on, ending with a disc here, you're going to put your final pressure plate back on and put her back together. Okay, okay can't align a simple piece of metal guy. Gosh. Okay. 
All right, reverse order, putting the springs. That's all we got left, springs and bolts. I'm gonna bring them all to about hand tightness, or, or I'm gonna tighten them down so they're flush, and then we'll go with the torque wrench. Let's, let's just do a couple on camera just so you get it. I know, I like watching videos where you see every little stage there. See, bolts just going in there. You're, you're able to put that on by hand, screw it down so the spring can't really move a little more. You can just use a screwdriver to save a lot of time. And I'm not putting much pressure on that at all. Let's see how far we can go. Let's do a little crisscross here. Just to keep everything nice and uniformly situated. Kitty! Kitty! Hi! What? What? Were you sleeping? Did I wake you up? Cat dive! <laughs> Now we get this guy, I'm going to start here, top left, and we're just going to go, hold on, let's get focus here. Focus, come on. Okay, so now we're going, since this thing measures in increments of 2.5, we're going 5, 7.5 is that next little, little notch right there. So there's 5, bolts turning, bolts turning, right to right there 7.5 okay now we're gonna drop down to this guy right here same thing okay so now that everything's on 7.5 we're just gonna go give the clutch a little squeeze while we're while we're still still have everything open make sure nothing's weird and wacky binding up or you know making weird noises clutch feels excellent up top everything's looking good down there so time to put her back together there we go. Oh, gosh. <laughs> yeah, so basically you do that. When you're using the camera, you lay it down and just, just give it a little little, little coating. And that'll just ensure that that bolt doesn't uh, come out again. All right, so I got all my bolts, but I'm moving to bolt number four because... Okay, put the thread locker on and then just roll it over on the towel so it takes it all off. Moving over, over to bolt number four because I'm putting the bolts back in crisscrossed so started right there that guy this little guy bing 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 going up here and then you go doot, 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 just to keep a nice even pressure on the on the uh, clutch uh, cover when it goes back on all right that's pretty much all she wrote she put the clutch cover back on same thing two superficial bolts there and there that was the last one that's actually holding on the case cover or the clutch cover um, now we're just going to put our brake back together, just flip that back, easy as can be. I can probably do this with one hand here. Pull the little cotter out, put this guy back in, put the washer back on the back of that. And just grab your little rinkety cotter pin. This focus is awful. Anyways, um, I'm going to put that back together, put the oil back in the bike. If you guys don't have one of these, you might want to consider getting one. Magnetic drain plug. So little gear shavings get stuck on that. It's just a nice extra safety measure in the motor. And then I'm gonna go take it for a ride and let's see how it does. Ah let's maybe let's let's go for a ride right now. Clutch cover dive to ride. Oh my gosh the new clutch is so winning. I guess the question is how well it's gonna pull a fourth gear wheelie off the ground. Oh my gosh, like butter. 